Week 4, Thursday morning prayer, page number 304, 304. God, come to my assistance. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. He is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Be true to your name, O Lord, and preserve my life. Alleluia. Lord, listen to my prayer. You are faithful, you are just, give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse on your hand has wrought. And to you I stretch out my hands like a part to land my soul thirsts for you. In the morning, let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you, I lift up my soul. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord Jesus, early in the morning of your resurrection, you made your love known and brought the first light of dawn to those who dwell in darkness. Your death has opened a path for us. Do not enter into judgment with your servants. Let your Holy Spirit guide us together into the land of justice. Be true to your name, O Lord, and preserve my life. Alleluia. I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice. Alleluia. Rejoice with Jerusalem, and be glad because of her. All you who love her, exult, exult with her. All you who are mourning over her. Says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. When you see this, your heart will still rejoice, and your bodies flourish like the grass. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice. Alleluia. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem and heals the brokenhearted. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, for He is good. Sing to our God, for He is loving. To Him our praise is due. Our Lord is great and almighty. 
His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O sing to the Lord, giving thanks. Sing psalms to our God with the harp. His delight is not in horses, not his pleasure in various strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God our Father, great builder of the heavenly Jerusalem. You know the number of the stars and call each of them by name. Heal hearts that are broken, gather together those who have been scattered and enrich us all from the plentitude of your eternal wisdom. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem and heals the broken hearted. Let us pray. O God, who restore the human who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings. Look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness, and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth, may you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Paphos, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived at Perga in Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Perga and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them, my brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up and motioned with his hand and said, fellow children of Israel and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out, and for 40 years, he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance at the end of about 450 years. After these things, he provided judges up to Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, what do you suppose that I am? I am not he, behold, one is coming after me, 
I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say of me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead. You have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen but that the scripture might be fulfilled. The one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends in Jesus, one day in 1953, a man arrived at the Chicago Railway Station to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. He stepped off the train and politely thanked the city officials and large number of people who came to welcome him. Then he asked to be excused for a minute and walked through the crowd to an elderly black woman who was struggling to carry her two large suitcases. He picked them up, smiling, accompanied her to the bus, helped her get on, wished her happy journey, came back to the city officials and apologized to them for keeping them waiting. Do you know who it was? It was Albert Schweitzer, a widely known German theologian, organist, writer, humanitarian, philosopher, physician, and a Lutheran minister. And seeing his humility, a member of the reception committee was said 
to have told a reporter standing next to him, this is the first time I ever saw a sermon walking. Dear friends in Jesus, we can preach any number of sermons and homilies, but the fact is we preach our faith best by living a humble life. If we are not humble, no matter how good our preaching is, it will have no effect whatsoever on the people who listen to us. Yes, Christians, we got to be humble because Jesus, our Lord and Master, is humble. If there is one word that can summarize the whole life of Jesus here on earth, I believe it would be humility. The very first sentence of today's gospel is, Jesus washed the feet of his disciples and said to them, this sentence is so profound that we do not need to go past it to look into the rest of the gospel. It speaks volumes to us as to how we should conduct our lives here on earth, that we don't have to worry about what the rest of the gospel has to offer us today. Yes, dear friends, the image of Jesus washing the feet of his disciples is an intriguing as well as profound mystery. This is a mystery that baffles the world around. We believers are usually intrigued by the incarnation, passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus. But as for those outside, it is his humility that intrigues them. I once read about a group of Chinese Christian ministers who invited a Bible scholar from Europe to give them a crash course on the Bible. In one of their sessions, the scholar asked the participants to pick out an event in the Gospels that struck them the most. To his amazement, they did not choose the Sermon on the Mount as many great writers and authors would do. They did not choose the passion and death of Jesus, something we attach most importance to. And they did not choose even the resurrection, which is the be all and the end all of our faith. They instead chose Jesus' washing of the disciples' feet. They wanted to know as to how God who is so transcendent and sinless, could swoop so low to the point of washing the feet of his sinful creatures. Mahatma Gandhi of India was reported to have said once, for a God to wash his apostles' feet is just mind-boggling. Dear friends in Jesus, our Lord did wash the feet of his disciples not to intrigue us, but to give us an example, the Bible says. I have given you an example to follow, he said, right after washing the feet of his disciples. Yes, dear friends, it is our humility that intrigues others, creates an interest in them about our way of life, and eventually leads them to faith. Yes, with Albert Schweitzer, it is our humility that makes us walking and living sermons here on earth. It is our humility that helps us impact the world around. Without it, we are nothing but clanging symbols, yes, St. Paul would tell us in the New Testament. And our prayer today is, Lord Jesus, let us be humble. Please stand. Page number 479, 479. God the Father has given us his Son for the resurrection of his people. Let us turn with confidence to the Father and say, May the Lord Jesus be our very life. 
As a pillar of fire, you lighted the way for your people in the desert. Through the voice of Moses, you taught your people from the mountain. You fed your pilgrim people with your gift of manna. You gave your people water from the rock. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life. For the gift of humility, that we may imitate Christ in serving others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our state and our nation, for perseverance to follow through and see that the amendment to our Kansas Constitution be passed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the needs of our parish community, for all who are seriously ill and for their caretakers, for those who suffer from depression, for those who are lonely, for those in nursing homes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our mass intention this morning, for the repose of the soul of Joe Kennedy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own intentions, we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Florida God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, yet will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Florida God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice on yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Yet all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. 
Therefore, to overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, he exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim. In your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. For God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. Yes, we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, 
but in the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, may this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to him. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
page number 479. In a little while, you will no longer see me, says the Lord. Then, a little while later, you will see me again, since I am going to the Father. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. He is now and ever shall be, all without end. Amen. In a little while you will no longer see me, says the Lord. Then a little while later, you will see me again, since I am going to the Father. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty, our living God, who restored us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel. Defend us this day in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all his evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine.